Right, let's take a look inside a uh, Astro Spectra. This one is a W4 model. And we'll whiz the front off. Held on with hex screws. There's the other one. And the front will ease off in one of two ways. It's come off complete with the connecting block there. It could have left that behind. And in fact, we'll put it back in just the time. No, we'll leave it out. We'll leave that one out. So those two are removed. There go the screws. There's the uh, receiver output heading into the receiver block and into the RF board. Let's have a look in here. Two odd screws. Best to get the right driver for it. And out it comes. I've already marked this up as I've seen on the CPS that it's got the latest DSP in it, so that won't need doing. I've left two screws out for ease of removal of the Vocom board. These tend to be rather stiff as they uh, crimp the end of the screws over. Whiz those out. There we go. And that's the Vocom board. Probably come out as a, oh no, it's come out as a bit, so fair enough. There's the board, there's it's the bottom half of the housing, fish, fish that out, there we go, and that's where it lives in there, and as I say that one's nice and up to date. The bits of interest lie on the other side, that's the firmware chip, that's the DSP chip, and the rest of it we don't really deal with. The uh, code plug and the sort of advanced code plug, the uh, SREC, is also stored on memory chips on there. That's the command board, which has the audio output and other features on it. And under here, which will take a little bit of removing, is the receiver front end. Again, lots of separate boards that uh, make life easier, really. You'll see that it uses surface mount components, but not really tiny ones. So um, even first timer surface mount people can uh, have a go at removing components and changing them which we have to do on the RF board I think I've been in this one before so it's probably been done but uh, I'll point out what happens in here off comes the lid there's the front end and just having a quick glance in here. No, I don't think I've been in this one. It's one or two modifications to do. There's a resistor there that could do with a change. There's one on the other side that could do with changing. And the instruction manual so you're supposed to dismantle the whole set to take this out, but that's not really necessary. We'll just uh, have a go at this. That comes out. That will feed through some coax into here, which allows you to leave the thing up. There's another little connector there that comes out quite easily. And an awkward one at the back. 
there's the RF board out. Do not field adjust, voids warranty. Well, that's an invitation to have a go at it, isn't it? So that's the front end board out, ready for uh, modifying. In the next video, I'll explain what we do there.